After checking in her suitcase, Julie Bishop deals with some political baggage, her claim that she had the best chance of beating Bill Shorten. Any person who stands for election to a leadership position must believe that they can beat the opposition, otherwise you wouldn't stand. And wasn't the only leadership contender who believed that. And that's exactly what Peter Dutton thought and that's what Scott Morrison thought. She polled only 11 votes. Queenslander Warren Inch telling newspapers today he now regrets being one of them. Everything I've said in the papers is absolutely accurate. He said he wouldn't, uh, he wouldn't vote for you again. He I changed his mind. I didn't realise he did in the first place. Really? He was one of the 11, apparently. Oh, that's not my understanding. In a provocative interview at the weekend, Ms Bishop said 28 colleagues had told her they'd vote for her. 17 didn't. In that weekend interview, Julie Bishop took a swipe at Christopher Pine for moving her votes behind Scott Morrison and that government Senate leader Matthias Cormann for his role in Malcolm Turnbull's downfall. Today, no regrets. Just speaking the truth. Is that it? That's it. So you believe everything you said, you don't retract anything? Of course not. A controversy coming at Scott Morrison like a freight train. I wish her well in her post-politics career trying to brush off the infighting. It's a very clear and stable team. This government is divided beyond all means of uh, any semblance of being taken seriously on ministerial stability. And he hopes all now heading to the departure lounge. Mark Riley, 7 News.